Hello, my name is Vipul and in this video, we are going to talk about the properties of a session task. As you see in this window, this is the workflow manager window in which we have a session by the name session M, M target. So if we double click this session, there will be a pop-up window which will show us all the properties of this session. On the very first tab, we can see here the general properties. For example, it gives us an option to fill in the metadata description and then it has some more options saying fail parent if this task fail, which actually explains how to proceed for a mapping if this particular session task gets failed. So for instance, for example, there are three to four sessions tasks in a sequence and this session task is on the first or second uh, number then due to any reason if this task fail then the previous task also gets failed and then there is uh, the other option saying fail parent if this task does not run so if it this task just fails to run at all that is when the parent task of this task will also get failed. And then the third option we can say here whether we should keep this task enabled or if we want to disable it temporarily for some reason we can click this. So uh, other than that we have properties window here, properties tab which explain a lot of properties of this session task. Starting from your log properties here for example you have the name of the log file that you can mention where everything about this session will get stored. You can also mention the directory in which it will get stored. Now this directory that this naming pm session log dir actually refers to a particular location. We can see what that location is. If we go in my computer and then we go in C drive, we further go in Informatica, and we go in server folder, infra shared, and then we go in session logs folder. Here we see all the log files are stored. This is exactly the location that corresponds to that particular directory name. So similarly, we have some other options here. For example, enable test load. This kind, this option is used to just make a small test before the actual load happens. Whenever any new mapping is created, it's always useful to enable this and then run the session so that we can see whether the test, whether the load is going to be successful or not. Because actually the load insert does not happen when we enable this checkbox. It's only the fetching of data will happen and the testing will tell us whether the successful, whether the loading will be successful or not. We can specify here how many number of rows we want to test it. Then we have some other parameters like source connection value, target connection. This is something we will also see in the mapping tab. So for now we can leave it. Then this section that is street source row, commit interval. These are some of the things which are most important because this is actually telling what operation to perform and when to perform. Here it is saying that you want to perform an insert into the target table. Now for example, I choose the delete operation. In this case, I will have to, so uh, the intention for choosing the delete operation is because I want to delete the rows from the target table. If I have, let's say, n number of rows in the target table, this is my target table, vm target and I have all this data here 15 rows and this is the source table VM where I have the same data of 15 rows and I want to delete the data from this target table then I will have to choose this particular option in the workflow manager which says treat source row as delete. Once I do this I have to define a primary key on my target table so I would again I will have to go in the designer window, power center designer window and there I will have to go in the target designer 
and on this particular table the target that I define I have to choose a key as primary key it is this primary key through which Informatica is going to identify all the records that it wants to delete so we are going to save this because we have made a change once it is saved now we come back here and once we make the change in this session task we will right click and click validate just to make sure that our object is valid after choosing this after choosing the operation of delete we save the workflow manager also and finally execute the workflow as soon as we start automatically the workflow monitor window gets launched and here as we see this task is running so it has succeeded here it says uh, it has been success all the rows have got deleted now to be sure we will go back in the database and in this folder vm target as we refresh we see that there is no data at all so this shows that this operation was successful now what else we can do we can not only delete but we can actually update the data in the target table for this operation also we have to define the primary key in the target table in our designer window that is in the target designer and then what else do we have here we have a commit interval which says after we can specify a number here which to 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 just let the informatica commit to the database all the changes that it has made and that number could be 500 5000 10000 1 million rows whatever number we wish to put here so we have some other options here which says rollback transaction on errors so if we do this then all that changes that have happened in case an error happens during the processing during the workflow all the transactions will get rolled back there will and nothing will get committed to the database other than that we have this performance section where we can define some values and the same uh, similar uh, properties we can find in this config object tab also where we have a lot of values to mention for optimum performance this is required when there is a huge bulk load of data from source to the target especially in case of data warehouse so uh, during those uh, in those scenarios we have to make use of such options other than config object we have mapping tab in the mapping tab the most frequently used is the connections on the left side this connection in this connections window we can specify what connections do we want to make we want to make uh, a connection with the oracle database or the any other database wherever our source table and the target tables are defined if the source and target is defined in one database we just have to make one connection here as you see the two connections are mentioned but it's not really required even if we mention this one connection that is sufficient because both of these connections are referring to the same schema of the same database of Oracle other than that we can specify some values of the sources we can specify some values of the targets we can basically override whatever values we want here so when the session runs all of these values will be taken by the session we do have memory properties just the same as we saw in the other two tabs for the performance reasons these are used so this is about uh, the properties of session whenever any session runs a mapping is executed all of the values that we fill here all the options that we choose are 
used by the informatica thank you so much